did the president give you any firm marching orders? This is what I need you to do. These are your priorities. It's, it's very clear that our first priority is to, to manage this crisis on the southern border and begin to take meaningful steps to mitigate it. Acting Secretary Kevin McAleenan was most recently the head of Customs and Border Protection and takes the DHS job as authorities are struggling to deal with a flood of migrants. More than 100,000 apprehended at the border just in March, the highest monthly total in over a decade, many of them families with children. You became the face of the family separation issue. The reports are that your predecessor was shown the door because she didn't want to move down that road. Is that something that you would reconsider, family separations in any form? I think the president's been clear that family separation is not on the table. And, and again, this was a zero tolerance prosecution initiative that was targeted at adults violating the law. It did have the impact of several uh, 2,000 plus families being separated during that prosecution. They were always intended to be reunited. Really a better system, as I've said many times, would allow us to uh, detain families together during fair and expeditious immigration proceedings uh, and getting actual immigration results from court. So that, that's what's missing from the current uh, situation. Now, I'll tell you something. Once you don't have it, that's why you see many more people coming. They're coming like it's a picnic because let's go to Disneyland. But in your view, did family separation work, even if it was ugly publicly? So, so prosecuting violations of law d does have a consequence and, and it does deter behavior. Uh, but it did not work uh, if you lose the public trust. Uh, if you can't maintain an initiative uh, fr from an enforcement perspective, it's not worth it. The president has expressed his frustration over the asylum system. Getting rid of it is easier said than done. It, it's the system that, that we have right now. That said, how would you like to change it? Well, so we want to make sure that we're, we're following up very strongly on people that are, are fraudulent claims, right? We, we have, unfortunately, 3,500 families so far this year, people presenting as families that didn't actually have a parent-guardian relationship with a child. Uh, that's a real problem for us from a child smuggling perspective, from a welfare perspective, and also from a fraud and enforcement perspective. Also, we want to make sure we're applying the asylum laws on the books effectively. And about the wall. We don't need it everywhere, but we need it in, in critical areas of the border. One of the solutions the president floated, shutting down the border. The New York Times reported recently the president urged McAleenan to do so, promising a pardon if he faced legal troubles. Did that occur? So I'm not going to do anything that violates the law, ever. Uh, I'm a law enforcement official. Uh, I've been asked to serve in this role, uh, and I'll carry that out uh, with, with full uh, focus on, on my legal duties. That said, I've never been asked, I've never been suggested to do anything unlawful uh, by the president or anyone else, uh, and I wouldn't do it. But beyond the border, McAleenan faces other urgent threats. Our interview comes days after the release of the Mueller report, which said the Russian government interfered in the 2016 presidential election in sweeping and systematic fashion. 2020 is almost uh, uh, upon us. Right. What happens then? How do you recognize the threat? So our, our, our CISA agency is laser focused on election security, uh, supporting state and local governments, uh, developing uh, capabilities and protections uh, as we lead up to 2020. And we're also looking very carefully at the foreign influence uh, aspect uh, of the cyber threat uh, and how we can participate and support that counter effort as well. Do you see them as still trying to come and interfere with our elections? I, I, I'm worried about multiple foreign actors uh, and, and other uh, groups trying to influence uh, public opinion and influence elections. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.